fight! Hey guys, this is Versatar from VST Power, now Halton and Project Phoenix Media. We got a really great game tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to connect multiple PS3 game controllers to your PC at the same time using Xbox 360 game controllers. Someone had asked me if I could use both types of controllers on the same PC, and the answer is yes. And we got a lot of game controllers, good times to show off today. So in a previous video tutorial, real quick here, if you want to learn how to connect your PS3 controller to your PC through USB or Bluetooth, what you want to do is go to this website, download the 120160 and in the update patch, the 122175, download that, extract it into a folder, uh, Scarlet Crush Productions under Program Files, and then once you're in there, what you want to do is run the SCP driver, and you want to click on Configure Service and Bluetooth Driver for Windows 10, and then you click on Install. And then after that's done, connect your PS3 game controller to the USB. It will be recognized. Disconnect the USB cable and press the PS button and you'll connect through Bluetooth. If you want a short, uh, a longer tutorial dedicated to the subject, see the more info section and I walk you through that in a previous video. Now, since I'm using Windows 10 64-bit, my Xbox 360 game controllers, take a look in the camera guys, uh, is already supported. But if you have a operating system that's less than Windows 10, you may need to install those Microsoft drivers as well. So I'm going to put that in the more info section. And today's video is more of a proof of concept to show you how does this work. Have PS3 controllers, Xbox 360 game controllers coexist on the same time, on the same computer, and have a lot of good times for your four-player games or what, ha what have you. So what we're going to do first is let's connect my Sony PlayStation 3 game controllers through Bluetooth to my computer. So let's go ahead and run my SCP monitor. Love that sound. So let's bring it up. And we see that it's all reserved, right? So let's take a look in the camera, guys. I'm going to take my first PS3 game controller, and I want to press the PS button. And it's, and it's flashing, okay? So it's flashing. I'm going to do the same thing with my other game controllers here. Click on the PS button, and they're all flashing, right? So I'm going to do my last one here, third game controller. Take a look in the camera, guys. It's flashing. But momentarily, all three of them, look here, it says BTH. Bluetooth. So now, if I go into, let's say, game controllers under um, control panel, let's test this out. So properties. So here's the first game controller. So take a look. Let me move the camera better, guys. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So here it is. Analogs, buttons, everything's working. That's awesome. Let's put this to the side. Let's go to the second game controller. Um, I don't know which one it is. Let's see. It's Here you go. This one. There we go. Nice. That's awesome. All the buttons work. That's awesome. Okay. Put that to the side. Let's do the third game controller. Look in the camera, guys. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. And if I had a fourth PS3 game controller, I would connect it to, but I don't. Not today. Okay. So that's that. Now, how about my Xbox 360 game controllers? So I have these two Xbox 360 game controllers. If you're going to connect it to your computer, you can do it you through USB cable. Actually, I lied. This is the actual Xbox 360. It doesn't have that USB port. Neither does this other one. But if you have the USB wireless receiver, take a look. Take a look in the camera. There it is. So now what we're going to do is connect. Let's turn on both of my Xbox 360 game controllers. It's going to pop up under, under control panel as a wireless receiver. Now, since I have um, five game controllers, this black, this black controller, it's not going to light up, but I assure you, it will be connected. And there it is. Booyah. So now, let's go to here. Let's go to properties. And it's this white game controller here. And everything's working. Put that to the side. And let's go back to the other game controller properties. This is the black one. I know it's, it's not lit up, the LED. But hey, guys, it's working. And that's awesome. So there you go. You got two Xbox 360 game controllers. You got one, two and three PS3 game controllers. So if you want to do like a local LAN party or something, or you're playing MAME or something, you know, four-player Simpsons or X-Men or whatever, that's awesome. You know, Castle Crashers, Battle Block Theater, whatever you want to play, that's a lot of freaking good times right here. So that is today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.